Once upon a time, there was a small village. Mary and her daughter lived in a small cottage. In the village, they were happy and contented. Mary had been given a big pan and dowry. She was very attached to that pan, as it was a great support to her. At the time of meals Mary would put it on the stove and say, Pantho Pan, please cook, and quickly too. I am hungry. Cook some porridge. The porridge was ready in no time. Uncle George was astonished to see the magic pen. He said to himself, Ah, oh, now I know the secrets Mary's cooking. I have an idea. I will steal this magic pan. When Mary and her daughter go out, the next day, when Mary and her daughter went out, Uncle George crept into their house and stole the pan. He went into his kitchen, put the pan on the stove and said, Pan, oh pan please cook, and quickly too. I am hungry. Cook some porridge. The porridge started boiling in the pan. Soon the pan was filled with porridge. Uncle George had heard only those words, which began the cooking in the pan, but he did not know the magic words. That would tell the pan to stop cooking, so he said all right, enough, enough, please stop cooking. But how would that pan stop cooking? The porridge began to overflow and spill out of the pan. The whole kitchen was filled with porridge. Then it spread all over the house, then the street. There was porridge everywhere. The whole village was flooded with the porridge. Uncle George was alarmed. He ran helter-skelter shouting for help. Please. Somebody please help me. Somebody please come and say something to this pan. The whole village will be drowned in the porridge. The crows will swarm the village to eat it. But the porridge continued to boil and overflow. Meanwhile, Mary and her daughter came home. When Mary saw the streets and her house filled with porridge, she understood what must have happened. She quietly went into Uncle George's kitchen and whispered to the pan, Pantho Pan, please stop, and quickly too. Our stomachs are full, and thank you too. The pan stopped cooking. Uncle George said to Mary, Mary, please forgive me. I had became greedy. So I stole your pan. Now I want neither this pan nor the porridge. Please pardon me for my offense. Uncle George had not heard the words which Mary whispered to the pan to stop cooking. Even today, Uncle George has nightmares about the magic pan and the porridge. And he wakes up in a fright.